What's going on, y'all? This video is sponsored by Faded Culture. Visit us at fadedculture.co. We just restocked on our snapbacks. I've never been on camera before. Never? Yeah. Then you ain't a freak. Yeah. What's going on, Faded Culture? I'm Adrian Barone, and we're back with another tutorial. Today, we're gonna be running down the steps on, what are you gonna get, Ben? Mid fade with a drop in the back. Bald mid fade? Yes, sir. And the top? Uh, nothing. Leave it alone? Curls. Keep yeah. the curls? Got you, bro. So like you heard, we're gonna be giving him a bald mid fade and we're gonna leave the length on top. Guys, if y'all saw last week's video, my brother did, gave the instructions on the giveaway that we're doing. There's two rules. All you have to do is follow the TikTok page, which is linked down below in the description, and then come back to this video or last video and comment your TikTok handle and comment it as many times as you want. Each time you comment, it's basically one entry. And then on next week's video, we're gonna announce the winner. And there's gonna be two winners. Each winner is gonna get 500 bucks, so a total grand prize of 1,000 bucks. With that money, guys, y'all can buy y'all's barber kit if y'all just starting off. Y'all can buy some merch, do whatever y'all want, guys. That's 500 bucks for free. So be sure to stay tuned and join the giveaway. With that said, guys, let's jump right into this tutorial. All right guys, so like all haircuts, I always like to use a comb first and run it through to try to get the hair to lay as natural as possible. So since this hair is real wavy, we're gonna go ahead and use the wider side of the comb. And more than anything, I'm just gonna start combing around the parietal ridge and the crown area because that's where we're gonna bring the fade up to. Just make sure you try to get the hair to lay as natural as possible like I mentioned. Make sure that you are combing according to this cowlick area. If you have to slightly damp the hair, then go ahead and do so. Like all my fades, I like to start with my wall seniors, lever completely closed as he is gonna get a bald mid fade. We're gonna base the fade according to the vertical bar. I like to start my mid fades right under that temple peak area. Low fades, I come a little lower, kind of around where the ear is, and high fades a little bit higher than that temple peak area. I do recommend that you keep a small brush on your opposite hand and after every few strokes, just go ahead and re-clean that surface and go over it if you need to. As you can see, as I approach the ear, I start dropping the fade just slightly. All right guys, so there's our first guideline. Make sure that you view him from the front and that you do end up at that same temple peak area on the opposite side, just to make sure that your fade is consistent throughout. And guys, I recommend that you do stay easy with all these guidelines, just so it makes the process easier when we start to come back down and start erasing them. So just be easy with the wrist and flick out slightly as we approach these guidelines. All right guys, so for the next guideline, still no guard on the clipper, but we're gonna go ahead and open up the lever completely. And yes, my clippers are zero gap, which I highly recommend that y'all try as well. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a video link down below in the description on, on how we zero gap our clippers so you can go ahead and try it. We're gonna go ahead and take it up about a finger's width. For the next step, we're finally gonna use a guard. We're gonna use a number one, and we're gonna keep that lever in the open position. As I'm setting these guidelines up, all that's gonna change are the guards, and the lever's gonna stay the same. It's gonna stay in the open position.
All right, so for the next step, we're gonna use a number two guard, and like I mentioned, the lever's gonna stay open. But now what's gonna change is I'm switching out the small brush that I had on, that I had on my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it for a comb as we use these higher guards. And one thing I like to do when it comes to the number two and higher guys is I do exaggerate that flick out motion. And take note that all these guidelines are equally apart. Next and final guard is going to be the number three. Again, we're going to go ahead and leave that lever completely open. All right, so this is gonna be the last step that we're gonna be doing to finish setting up the guidelines and setting up the fade. We're gonna finish it off with clipper over comb. I suggest that you use a white comb, that way the hair comes through it and you can easily see the contrast. All right guys, so we're done setting up our guidelines. As you can see, we are now left with three guidelines. If you were easy enough on the wrist, the two should have blended in right into the three and the three right into clipper over comb. So we're gonna start with the top guideline and work our way down. In order to remove this top guideline, I'm gonna go ahead and use a one and a half guard and I'm gonna close the lever just slightly. Putting it into a three-fourths position, it's basically somewhere in between halfway and fully open. Using mainly just the corners of the clipper, guys, just to make sure that we don't take the fade up any higher than we need to or initially wanted to. All right guys, so we went ahead and removed that top guideline. Now to remove the second guideline coming down, we're gonna use my half guard, and we're gonna keep the lever in that 3 fourths position. Again, using mainly the corners, we're gonna go ahead and attack that second guideline. And most of the time, guys, this step does leave a faint line right above it, but try not to go any higher with this guard as we will come back right now with my one guard and remove the faint line that it's creating right here. So as you can see the faint line is or the line is way more noticeable as we approach the back on the sides it's very very light but again we're going to go ahead and remove that with the one guard right now. All right, so like I mentioned guys, we're gonna use the number one guard. Bring it up to the camera. All right guys, <laughs> All right, guys so like I mentioned, we're gonna be using the number one guard. 
We're gonna keep the lever in that three fourth position. And we're gonna attack the faint line that the half guard created. All right guys, so now we're left with our final line. This was the first one that we created with the lever completely closed. We're gonna go ahead and use a three-step process to remove this last line. We're gonna go ahead and start with the lever slightly open, very slightly open. And then we're gonna, for the second step, it's gonna be halfway. And finally, we're gonna open it up all the way. For this last step, guys, it's very tedious, so I'm gonna go ahead and work in sections. I'm gonna focus just on this right side of the head. Once I'm done here, then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the back and continue with the left side. So again, just taking each of these notches up just slightly, using mainly the corners of the clipper. Oh, that homeboy thing. All right guys, so now I'm gonna open it halfway, and this is the second step. And finally, lever all the way open. As you can see guys, I'm really angling the clipper using mainly just that last tooth of the clipper just to get into these tighter areas. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna help me remove those dark spots without taking the fade up any higher. Fuck, I just took the fade up higher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that we're done with the right side, like I mentioned earlier, now we're just gonna focus on the back side. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up that lever halfway. Lever all the way open. I start with the three step process and then use that as my kind of my base and then toggle from there if I need to. All right guys, so finally we're gonna focus on this left side of the head. If you haven't tried breaking down that last line into three sides, I highly suggest that you do so, because as we all know, again, this last line is very tedious, so you wanna give it the most attention and just take your time with it all. And my steps are in the description down below, in case I wanna screenshot them as well and follow along that way.
All right guys, so now we're pretty much done with the fade. At this point, what I like to do is either take a step back or just simply view him from the mirror and try to point out any dark areas or any spots that you feel do need a little bit of touch of work. In this case, I see little dark areas right here towards the front. What I'm gonna do is throw on the half guard. And with here, I like to start with my lever completely open and we're gonna do something called lever play. We're basically just gonna play with the lever and adjust as we need to. So again, I start with the lever fully open. If that doesn't take some out, then go ahead and close it just a little bit. Alright, so the touch up work was very minimal. Now we're gonna go ahead and use our trimmers and start to remove this bottom hair. But before I start to remove this bottom hair, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over right above that hair and I'm gonna apply a little bit more pressure or what you can do is use your trimmer in a forward position just so we can get as closest to the scalp as we possibly can. So that way when we remove the bottom hair, we're gonna have a faint line and that way we know exactly how high up to take the electric shaver. So you'll see right now once I start to remove it and you'll see the process. So again, just applying a little bit more pressure. All right guys, so now I'm gonna remove the bottom hair. And like I mentioned, by applying a little bit more pressure on that top side, we're gonna have a distinction from this bottom hair to the fade. And that's gonna be used as our guideline for the electric shaver. So now we're gonna remove that bottom hair. One thing I do wanna add is, is as you approach that faint line, go ahead and turn your shavers around and use mainly the corners of it just to make sure that we don't take the fade up any higher than we need to. All right guys, so now we're finally done with the fade. All we have left to do is blend in the beard into the fade. What I like to do is a reverse process. What I'm gonna start with is my number one guard, lever completely open, and then I'm gonna go ahead and close the lever all the way and finish it off with that three-step process. But again, we're gonna just go backwards now. We're gonna start with the lever open, halfway, and close it all the way. So right here, I'm closing my lever all the way. And now for that three step process backwards, starting with the lever completely open. Halfway now. And finally closed all the way. So moving forward for the edge up, we're gonna go ahead and use something called spritz. It's basically just a hairspray. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of it in, comb it up so we can get the bangs or the fringe area out of the way so we can go ahead and edge it up underneath. Cover his eyes, obviously. You don't want to get none of this stuff in his eyes. Give it a few sprays and comb it up. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the process. I'm gonna use low speed and no heat while using a brush and moving it up. As for the edge up, I start in the middle and then just work my way to one side. From there, recalibrate from the middle and then proceed with the opposite side.
All right, guys, as for the neckline, just like the edge up, I like to start from the middle and work my way to one side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up about a finger's width from the Adam's apple, just to give it that full look, or basically try to leave it as full as possible. So from right here, I finish it off with, by using my electric shaver just to get that much closer of a shave. All right guys, so these are our Faded Culture Turkish style matte razors, which you can find at fadedculture.co. been asked, on how we remove and put blades into this. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. This is an old blade right here. All I do guys is I use the back of my thumb and slide up. If you feel unsafe guys, don't be afraid to just go ahead and take this to any flat surface and go ahead and push up guys. Simple as that. And as for the new blade, <clears throat> it does take the double-sided straight razors. Obviously you snap it in half to separate them. Basically, just snap off these ends. Slide that in very easy. And there it is, guys. I like to leave my blade slightly exposed. And I love these matte razors, not only because they are our favorite culture razors, but because of that matte contrast with the blade. Here, I'm just applying a little bit of shave gel. Small tip that we have, guys, is after you apply the shave gel, Go ahead and run a little bit of water over it just to help the gel, what can you say, last longer. Tucking a piece of napkin right under his neck just so you have somewhere real close to you to then wipe the blade after a few strokes. I like to start my straight razor work on the thickest area because that's when the blade is the sharpest. So for this case, we're gonna go ahead and start with the mustache area. Always ask your client to pull their lip in. So go ahead and pull your lip in there. Use your opposite hand to help stretch the skin out. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the edge up. Starting in the center by shaving with the grain. Starting by shaving with the grain and follow that by shaving against the grain. And if you cut them guys, just don't tell them. Don't tell them you walked in like that. They won't know, never know. All right, guys, I hope y'all took that as a joke. If y'all do cut them, obviously, follow the correct procedure and use nick powder, disinfect everything. All the things that you learn in barber school or should be learning in barber school. Buddy Ben here wants to leave the beard as long as possible, but what I'm gonna do is brush it down and just kind of clean up any frizz that he has sticking out to the sides and freehand any frizz. We're all done guys. Now to dust them off and add a little bit of hair enhancements on that lineup. Always dust your client off as much as possible guys. The goal here is to let them get out of the chair and let them go about their day without having all this hair on them. All right, so now to add a little bit of hair enhancements, 
we like to use a 50-50 blend. So right here in this canister, there's 50% water followed with a water-based hair dye. And again, guys, all the tools that I did use in this video are in the description down below in case y'all wanna check it out. For the natural wavy look, we're not gonna apply pomade. Instead, we're gonna apply a little bit of texturizing powder. And it doesn't work. Just kinda sprinkle that in and look like a little funnel cake. <laughs> Once it's sprinkled all in, guys, just go ahead and use your fingertips and run it through. Try to get it all the way down into the scalp. This is, again, just gonna give us that natural look while enhancing his waves, his curls. All right, guys, so there y'all have it. We did a bald mid fade while leaving the length on top on my boy Ben here, guys. Give us some feedback, guys. Let us know if y'all like this style of tutorials. So let me know down in the comments. And again, we are doing a giveaway next week. So make sure y'all join, guys. That's free money. Don't forget to subscribe if y'all haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if y'all liked it, of course. If you didn't, then just, just Go give my brother's video a thumbs down he didn't like this but yeah guys there you go there you have it don't forget to subscribe and yeah guys i'll see you on the next one peace